Welcome to my book reading. I'm going to read a chapter, maybe not the whole thing, from my latest book, Living Dangerously, Traveling Full-Time is Not a Crime, for you here. And this is a digital book. I'm reading it from my iPhone. It's an e-book, and there, this is my fourth book. My three books are on Amazon. And this one is about my latest travel stories. Advice on the mystical and marvelous is one section. The truth about being a vagabond. And suddenly I find myself in an alternate universe. I have uh, put my stories in three sections. And I'm going to read you how to photograph the Dalai Lama. So I was in India last year. This was published last December. And it's on Amazon. The link is below in the description. How to photograph the Dalai Lama. Well, let's see. Let me get to it. Here we go. My body feels blasted with lightning. A few hours ago, I was within 12 inches of His Holiness. I got shaky, and my skin was bubbling like champagne. They don't call him His Holiness for nothing. He radiates love into your heart with only His presence, without one word. You fall in love with everyone. The Dalai Lama doesn't act like a rock star coming late to the party because he was putting on his makeup. No, he's on time. And he doesn't wear any, as I was within centimeters of him today, and he's pure. His skin glows and his heart embraces you with heaps of love, like maybe you've never felt that much bliss before. That's why your skin is tingling. He's that high. The first time I shot the Dalai Lama, it was a private 50-person event at Thosamling Nunnery in Dharamsala, India. When I walked into the room, he said, Get her some tea, but with the Tibetan accent. That's how small the group was. But I had to disobey his gigantic bodyguard to walk in there. Too many people right now, he said, after I showed him my press pass stamped with the Dalai Lama's official seal. Not bloody likely I wouldn't go in. He turned his head for a split second and I charged on in. I quickly sat down in front of the Dalai Lama, no skulking in the wings. I had to get the best spot so the bodyguard would have no way of clearing me from the premises. He'd have to interrupt the teachings and block His Holiness from the group. From the audience's view to throw me out. Go for the gusto. Get your excellent angle. Don't release it for anything. Unless someone points a gun at you. About his bodyguards. Agree to everything they say until His Holiness shows up. Then go for the gold. His Tibetan security guy with the wiry body kept telling me to get back and not stand by the stairs when he came down. And then on top of all this, don't shoot when he's coming down the stairs. I looked at the bodyguard without blinking. He said it again in a stern voice. This time I didn't agree. I knew I would be shooting him, but refrained from mentioning this. To get the best shot of the day, I only got one day to try and get pictures of the Dalai Lama. I had to hold the camera over my head, not in front of my eye, where I could see what was happening. Don't be afraid to hold the camera high above the crowd to get a shot. It takes practice, but you get better at it. Earlier in the morning, his bodyguards tried to shoo me away from the bench that the Dalai Lama passes right before he enters the temple to start his teaching. I said to the bodyguard, I have got to get a picture of him. I've been sitting there for two hours with my prime angle and had no intention of giving it up unless he was going to hit me. I guess my perseverance helped as eventually he let me stay. I did agree to move then, but I'd slip back when he wasn't looking. 
After all, the elderly Tibetans on the bench next to me got to stay, and so should I. But this strategy hasn't always worked with these dudes. The last time I pressed my point to the Dalai Lama's biggest bodyguard, he said to me, you can be punished. Those Tibetan bodyguards are tough. So I waited two hours to capture one of my best shots. My feet were nailed to the floor. Don't be easily shooed away from where you want to shoot from. Smile pleasantly. It might work. More tips. Awareness. Feel your environment. Listen, hear, and taste it. You'll see what to photograph by paying acute attention. Patience. Let the photograph come to you. The Dalai Lama will walk by. Just wait. Yes, it's all over in 10 seconds or less, so don't go to the bathroom. Perseverance. Don't give up your angle. If you must, because the bodyguard is getting mean, grab another angle fast. Yes, you'll have to navigate the crowd of 10,000 or more people and have a kid sitting on your toes while you're trying to balance and shoot with a metal, te metal telephoto lens without a tripod. When you have a press pass, you're allowed to have a camera, but other than that, you get no special favors. Ten seconds before I got an amazing photo of His Holiness, an old Tibetan woman shoved me so hard to let me know I could not get in front of her. Okay, fine. I moved down the row and got ready. At the last second, things can change, so go with it. But whatever you do, get the shot. This is what shooting 722 weddings taught me. Be sure you are the one getting the shot, and don't be muscled out by crushing crowds. Do yoga. You'll need it to get into this position, coiled on the floor like a cobra waiting, just like I was. Another